Hey, fourth grade, how are you? It's Miss Ray. Um, how you guys hanging in? You doing okay? I miss you guys so much. I hope that you are finding the positives um, every day. All right, okay, so this week I thought that we would, I thought that we would do Broadway. Um, do you wanna know why? Because uh, the Broadway community, well, I don't know if you know, but my husband and I are both part of the Broadway community. This is a show that I did a long time ago. And a uh, fun fact, my husband, he proposed to me on opening night of his Broadway show. So that's a random fun fact about me. But um, I wanted to do Broadway this week because I've been thinking about them a lot because the entire Broadway community has lost their jobs from this whole COVID-19 stuff. Um, so it's a really, really stressful time for all of them. So I wanted you to kind of keep them in your, in your good thoughts. Um, but anyways, they've been in my thoughts, which is why I figured we would do Broadway this week because it's fun to teach about Broadway too. So the Broadway musicals, okay, so the Broadway style is uh, the dancing that's performed, singing, acting, and dancing, actually, that's performed in Broadway musicals. So why are they called Broadway musicals? Have you ever wondered that? Um, they're called because I know that there's different tours that come through here at the Pantages and the Amundsen, right? Well, they're called Broadway musicals, you guys, because in New York City, there is a street, if you've ever been there, and it's called Broadway is the name of the street. Now off of that main street, there are a whole bunch of different theaters where they house all of these amazing musicals like Hamilton, like uh, Phantom of the Opera, Les Miserables, The Lion King, Wicked, Chicago, all of these different really amazing musicals. So, I don't know if you, any of you have seen Dear Evan Hansen, but that's what we're going to be doing today. So, let me back it up, actually. So, when we talk about Broadway musicals, all of the performers in the Broadway uh, world, they have to be, they call it a triple threat. So, you have to be able to sing. If you're in a musical, you have to be able to sing, act, and dance. And the cool thing about performing on Broadway when you're on stage, you have to be able to project because imagine these people paid a lot of money for the tickets, right? But the person in the front row has to be able to see you, but also the person way up in the very last row. And usually these places seat two to 3,000 people. The person way in the back in the nosebleeds has to be able to see you as well. So Broadway, the style, you guys, I tell you that because it's usually very expressive. Big, beautiful lines, right? Your placement with your arms and your legs, very precise, very big and beautiful. And then also the faces are very, very expressive. So it's really, really fun to perform it. And um, I think you're gonna have a good time today. So we're going to be doing today, we're going to be doing a musical called Dear Evan Hansen. I don't know if you know about it, but it's really cool musical. It's about this boy and he's in high school and he's kind of socially awkward. He doesn't have a lot of friends and it's all about his experience in high school I'm not gonna give it away because it's a great story but it's all about his experience in high school and how he gets through it and he kind of um, makes up kind of an imaginary friendship and it's how that all affects everybody around him so the song that we're gonna be doing is called waving through a window and he talks about how it feels like he's waving through a window and nobody sees him. So he goes to school and he feels like the popular kids and just all the kids just walk right by and they don't see him at all. And the song is about that feeling. All right? So let's do it. Guys. All right, let's do it. Waving through a window from Dear Evan Hansen. Okay, so remember, I was telling you that the people in the back need to be able to see you nice and clearly, okay? So the movement's all bigger. I'll describe it for you. I mean, I'll 
demonstrate it. So the first step, you're just going sway, sway, up and over. Sway, sway, up and over. Now look, sway, sway, watch my arms, up and over, sway, sway, up and over. So that's the movement. But remember, the people way in the back have to see you. Super expressive, really big. So watch the difference. Watch. Sway, sway, up and over. 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 Yes? You see the difference? All right. So the next step, he goes, step out, step out of the sun if you're not getting burned, right? Step out, step out of the sun if you keep, if you keep getting burned, sorry. Step out, step out of the sun if you keep getting burned. Yes, nice and big, again. Step out, step out of the sun because you've learned, you're gonna do it again, because you've learned, nice and big, yes? Again, big and expressive, cool? Next step, very easy. You're just gonna go up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. Guess what though? People in the back need to see you. Make it big and expressive. Arms can do whatever you want. Ready, go. Up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. Yes? You're going to step open. You're going to say, knock, knock, knocking on the glass. Then you're going to back it up this way. Waving through a window. Turn this way. You're going to do the same thing. Up up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, step it out. And you're gonna look, 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 and slow. Then you're gonna back it up, waving through a window. And you're gonna walk in a circle, okay? Walk in a circle. Except guess what? Simple circle, right? Except you're on Broadway. The people in the back need to see you. So you're gonna make it big. You're gonna make a circle. You're gonna go around. Whoa, nice and big. Your hand is not gonna come up like this. And you're gonna wave. Yes? That's the whole thing. Then you're gonna, actually not that, I lied. That's not the whole thing. Then you're gonna repeat the same thing. And then we're gonna we're gonna go to a little fast section, okay? This is where the big crescendo happens at the end of the song, where it's like big, and the audience's emotions are coming up. Okay, so it goes like this: up, up, down, down, okay? Up, up, down, down. Then your body's gonna shift, shift, boom, shift and boom, shift and boom, shift and boom. Up, up, down, down, up. Up, down, down, shift and boom, shift and boom, shift and boom, shift and boom. Sway, sway, up and over. Sway, sway, up and over. You're gonna do that again. You're gonna do the Broadway circle like this. Ooh. This is the big finish. You're gonna wave. Yes? It'll all make a little more sense because it fits with the music perfectly. All right, let's do it with the music. Here we go. Here we go. Remember, big and expressive. Ready? Let's go. I've learned to slam on the brake. Good. Before I even turn the key. Make it big. Before I make the mistake. Before I leave with the worst of me. Even bigger, go! Give them no reason to stare. No slipping up if you slip away. So I got nothing to share. All right, next step Don't coming up. Ready? To say. Good, go! Step out, step out of the sun if you keep getting burned. Let's do 
that again. Ready? Go. Step out, step out of the sun because you learn, because you learn. Up and down. Go. On the outside, always looking in. Will I ever be more than I've always been? Because I'm tap, tap, tapping on the glass. Back it up. I'm waving through the window. Other way. I'm super proud of you.